Austin, what's going on? Just close your Why eyes. Why are you taking me to? Right, close your eyes. Easy, easy. Yeah, come here. Yeah. What's going on? Just hold on, hold on. Hold on. I should keep my eyes Cl closed. Close your eyes. Okay, my eyes are closed. Okay, all right, easy. Easy. <laughs> easy. Wait. Easy. Just okay. hold on. Hold on. Are we there already? Yeah, we're yeah, there. But still close your eyes. Still close your eyes. My eyes are closed. What's going on? <laughs> Austin. Open your eyes. Fine. <gasps> Austin! <laughs> Marry me. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yes, 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 yes! <laughs> oh this is beautiful! I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> I love you. Babe, please, I don't want you to leave. I still want you around. But you need to spend some time with your family. Your sister, your mother. Hmm? Or your family. But we aren't married yet. We will soon be. You have my ring. But that doesn't change the fact that you need to spend some time with your family. Hmm? At least stay. Let them get to know you. Austin, I'm trying. I'm trying. But it's not working. Your sister's the sisters are driving me crazy. Your mother hates me. She thinks I'm not good enough for you. I don't know what else to do. Relax. You're winning. You're winning already. Don't just give up now. I don't know how far I can go. If I finally give up, all in a bid to get validation from your family, I am beginning to lose my sense of self. It's okay, it's okay, come here, come here. Let's get you to work. Clean those tears. Alright? I'm sorry I couldn't make breakfast. Uh, I have to be at work by that, eight. That's fine. That's mm -hmm. fine. Um, I'm so sorry. My sisters will take care of that. Okay? I'll come here. Here you go. Right. Love you. Yeah, love you too. They say right. you gotta buckle up. Go ahead and fight for what you love. Yeah. But sometimes I feel like maybe. I'm not athletic. Are you not ashamed of yourself? What kind of girl wakes up in the house of a man? No sweeping, no cleaning, and then boom, you're off to work. Not even considering what a man will eat. Mom, I told you she's... My friend, will you shut up? Who is talking to you? My friend, I'm talking to you. Answer me. Eh? What is going on here? It's not your wife. B. <laughs> Are you okay? 
Mons, what have you done to my wife? <laughs> See, if she likes, let her cry all the crocodile tears that she has stored up in her. She will not step out of this house in the name that she's going to work if she does not fix you something to eat for breakfast. Bam. But mom, I'm not hungry. <laughs> yes, now you're not, but later you will be. And if you think I and your sisters will fix your food, you better wake up from that dream. Wake up from that sleep. Do you hear me? Wake up. What kind of nonsense is this? Eh? <laughs> is this how they marry? What kind of rubbish is this? Um, oh, are you still hungry? Mm -hmm. ah, you know I can't do. I mean, you want to only see mama. Exactly why I hate the fact that I cannot hate you. Eh? If anyone told me that you would choose that girl over me, I would never have believed. I didn't choose her over any of you, Mom. Look, I love Sophia. <laughs> and I want you all to accept her. Unfortunately, I cannot. Me too. Mm -hmm. Why? See, that girl does not look like a girl that would be submissive. She doesn't look like a girl that, you know, would be tolerant. I don't want a situation whereby I come to my son's house one day and some girl will throw me out after all I have been through. Mom. Yes. Sophia is not like that. Oh, my dear. You know you're a very young person. You don't even know what is happening at all. Allow me to grill this girl. Let me grill her. <laughs> eh? Just listen to me. I'm telling you now. It's for your own good. Though. It's for your own good. Okay, fine, mom. Look, just so you know, hmm? I love Sophia. And the truth is, there's a limit to which you can take. Okay? Just do your thing. I am aware. Mm -hmm. But it is not a bad thing to test the tolerance level of any girl that is coming into your home. All this thing I'm doing is for your own good. No problem, mom. Do your thing. Okay? Jay Bling Nigga in the kitchen. And why would they do that? I don't know. Tessie, I am tired. Everything I seem to do irritates that woman. Everything. So, what's Austin doing about all this? I don't know. You know, one minute he seems like he's standing up for me. And then the next minute, he's under his mother's control. He doesn't strike like a mama's boy. He's an only son. And this bond the mother is fighting for like someone is dragging that with her. Just... Wow. Well, I hate to say this, but being a mama's boy seems to be a disadvantage. Right? These category of people don't really have a say in their lives. It seems their mother had a special spot in theirs. Is that him calling? Who else? Just take the call. No, I won't. I won't. I'm not going to talk to him. His mother and siblings already ruined my day. Babe, I've been trying to call you since, and you're not picking up your calls. Look, babe, 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 look, I know your mother, what happened in the house today, but please, can we just at least talk in the car? Please. They say you got 
gonna buckle up, go ahead and fight for what you love. But sometimes I feel like maybe. You know I love you. My mom and my sister can be very annoying. But the truth is that they're my family. What I'm just asking for is just a little more time. To be ridiculed by your family or what? No, oh, wait, babe, come on. Come on, that's not what I'm saying. So what exactly are you saying? No, Austin, what are you saying? As far as I'm concerned, your family wants a maid. That's what they want. Not a wife or not a bride. Austin, I, I can't throw away my dignity. I cannot come this far in life to throw away everything just because I want your family to accept me. I can't do that. I'm not that desperate. Babe, nobody's saying you're desperate. All I'm just asking for is a little more time. Can you trust me on that? Please, babe, please. Trust me. They say you gotta buckle up, go ahead and fight for what you love. But sometimes I feel like maybe I'm not that let's take enough. Tell me if we stand a chance. Do I deserve to be your number one? Touching me behind. Hmm? Um, a man that has a mind of his own. Hmm. You had better tell him to behave. <clears throat> well, I wish I can. <laughs> you wish you can, how? <laughs> hmm. It's so nutty. Alright. <laughs> I'm doing alright. Whoa! Oh, so um, we wanted to confirm something. Please, how true is reincarnation? Are you serious? You barge into my room without even knocking. What if I was naked? I'm sorry. We are sorry. Get out, brother. When would you get out of? Wait. You don't you understand what privacy means? What's huh. the demand you knock at every door, wait for a response to enter or not? But she just said she's sorry. What's with all this unnecessary talk? Are you mad or something? Would you get out of my room? Wow. Rubbish! <sighs> Babe. Babe. Don't touch me. I Babe. want to sleep. Babe. I no. want to sleep. Babe, I'm sorry. If you love me like you say, let your feelings show. Tell me if we stand a chance. Do I deserve to be your number one? Then anybody else? Cause I've waited long enough. Won't you let me know? If you love me like you say, let your feelings show. Nobody's perfect. I don't need you to be. I just need somebody who can compliment me when it's said and done. It'll be just you and me. Baby, you can show your vulnerability. Cause nobody's perfect. Is everything alright? Yes. See, I can't wait for the renovation to be done so that we can move back to our house. All this unnecessary insult. Unnecessary rubbish. Calm down. These children. I'm more of one with them. They say you gotta buckle up, go ahead and fight for what you love. 
Really? Who is that? Mom! Anna! It's my mom. What does she want? Just... I'm coming. Mom, good morning. Good morning. There's nothing good about this morning. I want to talk to you. Um... Mom, what is it? I need to talk to you. I want to talk to you. And you alone. She should excuse us. Um, um, mom, can we talk outside? <laughs> no. Tell her to excuse us. We need to talk. But mom, she's still in bed. She's still in bed at this time. Which woman in her condition will be in bed at this time? She's in her husband to be's house. Go and look at the kitchen. Everything is in a mess. Or set here now, Larola. Please let her leave the room, please. Do you need to tell her that her mother and a child want to talk? I should give us privacy. Here. Um. Baby, can you um please give me a minute, okay? Let me talk to mom. Are you begging her? Eh? Are you begging her? She should leave the room, let us talk. She should know better to give us privacy now. For God's sakes. Doesn't she have home training? She doesn't have common sense. Mom, mom, stop it. I won't be competing be. for your heart like it's a trophy, no, no, no. Should she still be in bed now? Go and look at the kitchen. Everything is in a mess. On all I bass, Tiana and Lalola. I don't like that girl. And I have told you many times that I do not like her, but you will not listen. Eh? You won't listen, Austin, because you are, you have a reprobate mind. You're very rebellious. Mom, stop it. Mom, I've been trying too hard to show you the good part of her. She has done everything possible to show you that she has a good heart. What else do you want, Mom? I cannot see any good thing in her because I do not like her. As far as I'm concerned, she's a gold digger. She's a hypocrite. And listen to me carefully. She can never, will never be the mother to my grandkids. God forbid it. Babe. 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 Don't you dare try to touch me. Don't do that. <laughs> Please. Can you just come in? Let's just talk this out, please. Talk about what? Austin, there is absolutely nothing to talk about. Yes, we keep talking, but nothing happens. You see this ship that's almost wrecking? I don't think I can hold the fort any longer. Leave her, let her go. Lazy thing that cannot swim. Switch out is a challenge. Eh? Austin! Go and talk to your family. And once you all are ready, you call me. Babe! Babe! To call the shorts now. If you're ready, let me know. Mom, they say you got to buckle up. Go ahead, Mom. And find what to love. Yeah. Mom, what is it? Mom, mm -hmm. why are you hell bent on frustrating me? Why you don't have to raise your voice? Like oh, will you shut up? Excuse me, what has she done that none of you ever wants to see her smile? If there's anybody in this house that doesn't deserve to be loved, it's me or Stim. Eh, brother, so that's not true. Sophia should be grateful that you picked out of all the girls in your life. Now I see why no man wants you for kill. Ah, what, what, what did you just say? Mom, did you hear what you just said to me? Your presence in this house is making my life difficult. If I try to make a move forward, you're all dragging me backward. What is that supposed to mean? Mom, privacy. I need my space. Which means when that house is done, 
You all should leave my house. Thank you. Get out of my way. <laughs> Thank you, Boggy dear. <laughs> And, and frowning much of the time, uh, pretending to be strong and impervious to all the emotions that I lavish on him. Mm. And smile once in a while, acting as if everything is fine. <sighs> I hate that part of him. Mm. Come on, it's not that serious. It is. It is, Tessie. Mm. I mean, no one is saying he shouldn't be strong. But I want a man who is strong enough to be vulnerable. But he is. What? He's not. <clears throat> I feel like saying yes to him was a huge mistake. Sophia. <laughs> but it's true. Because as it is now, mm. I can't tell if Austin can take a bullet from me. He's not being honest with me. He feels honesty might expose him to rejection or, or ridicule. And things like that. It's just how I feel. Four years with Austin and I still have doubts of, of saying yes to him. But you are married. Married. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just an engagement party attached with an engagement ring. <laughs> hey, babes, listen. Austin is a good man, all right? Yes, we know that he's not expressive with his words or actions, but he's a good man. So why can't he? Why can't he relate to any of my love languages? Why? Hmm. You know, that brings us to this question. What, what brought you guys together? I mean, what kept you glued to him for over four years and you made him put her ring on that finger? I honestly don't know. I guess I wanted to be in a relationship because everyone was in a relationship. I mean, from Tutu to Anna, Isa, and then you, Tessie. You got married and started sharing accolades on, on Maxwell. <laughs> mm. Listen, Max is who he is, all right? I mean, I can't paint him to be an angel, if in reality he's a devil. <sighs> Listen, for all you know, Austin has been who he is from the beginning. But probably you just kept blind eyes to things. Hmm? Hmm? What is it? I got a message from work. Really? Mm hmm. Okay. We need to hurry, yeah. okay? So yes. we can see. It's a go. And try and calm down, okay? Everything will work out. I hope so. <laughs> I just hope so. Let's go. We need to hurry. No, we do not have time again. Oh! 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 Please, I am I'm so sorry. I'm really, really, really sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. What's on you? Are you okay? Since when did you know you were traveling? I was informed yesterday. And you didn't it fit to tell me by sending me a text? Hey, but I was going to call you. And what happened? Look, hey, hey, I forgot. You forgot? Austin, you forgot? And the best you could do was send a text? going to stand there and shrug your shoulders. Hey, what am I supposed to do? I just told you I forgot and when I remembered, I figured you'd be in a meeting. So I had to send a text. 
What? You're unbelievable. B. And now we'll be the one to call the shorts. Now if you're Babe, come on, hold on now, hold on. Babe. They say you gotta Babe. buckle up. Go Babe, ahead please hold. Babe, what listen to me. I'm sorry. But sometimes I feel Babe, like come on, come on, talk to I'm me now. I'm sorry. Babe, Babe. Tell me if we stand a chance. Do I deserve to be your number one than anybody else? Cause I've waited long enough, won't you let me know? If you love me like you say, let your feelings show. Tell me if we stand a chance. Do I deserve to be your number one than anybody else? Cause I've waited long enough, won't you let me know? If you love me like you say, let's say your body's perfect, I don't need you to be. I just need somebody who can come. Oh. And you are? Sophia. Sophia Ante. Sophia Ante. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you again. <gasps> oh 
Oh yes, I remember you now. I'm really sorry for what happened the last time. Um, okay, well, um, apologies not accepted. Sorry? Yeah, not accepted. I actually um, missed my appointment that day because I had to go back home and change. Um, but I apologized that day and you just walked away without saying anything. I walked away, you said. Well, that means you owe me. I don't. Yes, you do. You owe me um, a lunch date, or better still, a dinner date, <laughs> if you don't mind. I don't do married men, sorry. Married? Coming from someone who's, uh, should I say married or engaged? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, well, I... this man isn't married. Neither is he take you, and uh, he would love to take you out on a date. That's the only way your apology is going to be accepted. I don't give my numbers to strangers. Strangers? <laughs> Come on. I mean, how do people become friends? Strangers first get talking, and then they become friends. Even though I already know that. What I feel like. <laughs> well, I still have to say it. I mean, I was raised by a father who taught me the importance of uh, giving compliments and appreciating people. Hmm. Your father must be a noble man. Yeah, he was. Uh, God rest his soul. Oh my god, I am so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's fine. I mean, you didn't kill him, so... Well, you know what they say. Good people don't last here on Earth. Yeah. Thanks for coming anyways. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Well, you literally dragged me here. <laughs> uh, well, I'm not sorry about that. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm enjoying your company. Oh. Goodness. Yeah, it was a good night. <laughs> yes, it was. Uh, I'm glad you came. <laughs> well, we're here. Mm. So, thank you. But I have to go in and rest now. Hmm? Tomorrow is going to be a busy day. I understand. It's fine. And uh, thank you for coming. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. If you allow me. Uh, I wouldn't know that. <laughs> it's okay, I understand. You have a good evening, yes? Yeah, and thanks once more. It was a night worth it. That's alright. I had fun. All right. I'm glad you did. Beautiful woman. Bye. Bye now. Okay, be safe. I feel like maybe I'm not athletic enough Tell me if we stand a chance Do I deserve to be your number one than anybody else? Cause I've waited long enough, won't you let me know? If you love me like you say, let your feelings show Tell me if we stand a chance Do I deserve to be your number one than anybody else? Say nobody's perfect.
on too many You keep pushing till I got my back against the wall We have come to the point where we're breaking Just in case you should have known that my name Babe, babe, come on, open the door, I know you're in there Babe, what's going on? Babe! Austin, I had a very stressful day. And I'm tired. So I'm not seeing you tonight. Babe, please open up. If you don't open up, I'm not going to leave here. Then fine. Feel free to sleep at my doorstep. Baby, please open the... What's going on? Babe. 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 Sin. What do you want? Dinner? Oh, no, no. I have lots of work to do today. Today is a busy day for me. Yes, I know the last time was good. I, I had fun. But not today. I have lots of projects to do. You know you're putting me in a tight corner right now. <laughs> okay. Look, I'm not promising, but I'll see what I can do. Yeah. All right then. Thank you. Bye. You said it was urgent we talk. What's the urgency? It's Sophia. What about her? I've been trying to call Sophia. I've called her severally. I've texted her. And she's not returning any of them. <laughs> Tell me, why should she pick your home? Why should she? I mean, she complained about her attitude towards her. But you still went ahead and cheated on her. What? 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 Is, when? How? What were you doing with her? Uh, Ceci, who, who is her? Austin, please stop. Okay? Stop. Ceci! Hey, what do you think you're doing? That's Sophia! That's all? What's she doing with a man? That's my fiancé! Please, please. Stop. That could be a client or something. Hey, it's okay. Let's talk. So, I'm asking you. Hey. Who's that? Who's that guy? And I won't be the one to call the shorts. Now, if you're ready, let me know. They say you got a buckle up. Go ahead and fight for what you love But sometimes I feel like maybe I'm not out that sick enough Tell me if we stand a chance Do I deserve to be... Oh God, what are you doing here? Eh? What do you want? 
Sophia, what's going on? Everything is going on. And you standing here right now is the last thing I want to deal with. Are you cheating on me? Excuse me? Excuse you? Really? I saw you with the man at the restaurant. Wait, is it the reason you've been avoiding me? <laughs> You're very funny, Austin. Austin, so you think I am as loose as you are? Hmm? Or you think coming at me with this cheating talk would change the fact that you cheated on me? What? Why, why would I do that? For crying out loud, why would I cheat on you? you mm. You're my wife. Mm. Okay. So what is this? Hmm? Check. Have you been stalking me? You're so pathetic. How do are you? This woman is just my friend. This is just a platonic friendship. What is wrong with you, for God's sakes? You have my ring. And so what? And so? Does that make me... My wife! Yes, my wife! You're my wife! Well, I am not married to you. Babe, you are. Not fully, but you are, you are my wife. No, I'm not. A drink to my parents doesn't make you my husband or a son-in-law. Yes, you are. Not, not fully, but slightly married. House. Eh? Where? Hey, hey! What's going on? Austin! Ah! Uh, eh? <laughs> Sophia! I knew it! She's a bloody cheat! You truly have no shame. Mom was actually right. Yes. Do you know she's actually engaged to my brother? Ashley. You took off your ring so you could cheat on my brother? Huh? Mother was right all along. Can you imagine? And who's your brother? Because if by chance your brother happens to be Austin Damien, the last time I checked, I already gave him back his ring. What? what? Oh, he didn't tell you. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Let's just go. No. I mean, why would he keep this away from you? Anyway, I already broke up with him. No. Yes. You and your mother can go ahead and have him. Because Sophia is done. All right. And your brother can go ahead and give the ring to whoever your family approves of. Okay. Because Sophia is done. Don, I love my sanity. And I already have a man. A real man. And the very next time you accost me like this, I will make sure the both of you regret me. Mm. Rubbish. Well, to be honest, I don't think I can love such a man. Maybe for one day, but definitely not for a lifetime. A lifetime? What kind of a man would you um, love for a lifetime? A kind man. 
just kind. Yeah. You know, when I was young and foolish, I didn't realize that one of the components of love is kindness. Mm -hmm. But now, I realize that it is the most important quality in a man. I always thought that uh, women loved uh, a man who would do anything and everything, no matter what. I mean, an, uh, an honorable man. Yeah, I know, but I still want him to be foolish and brave. <laughs> foolish and brave? Mm -hmm. What is that? Can you explain? I want him to be able to profess his love to me, even when I've hidden all signs that I love him in return. <laughs> Sophia. Mm -hmm. Do you know love is a two way thing, right? What you give is what you receive. The love you show will definitely come back to you. Trust me, I've given all. Enough to tell you that it doesn't apply to everyone. Sophia, I've tasted all sort of love from the pain, the sweetness, the beautiful times, and sincerely. I miss it. I'd love to taste it again. But this time, I'd love to taste it with you. I'm sorry. But I mean it. I'd love to taste it again with you. He's back. But at least did he tell you where he's going to? No. Why all these questions? Guess what? Sophia broke up with Austin. No. Austin broke up with Sophia. <laughs> Mom, see, I don't care who did he break up with. But she has returned his ring back to him. And she has moved on. Mm -hmm. Very fast. No. This is not nice. How is it not nice? We've always wanted this. Uh -uh. Listen. When you do the breakup, that's fine. But when another person does it, it hits differently. <sighs> Where is your brother? I don't know. I know. Austin? This is not right. Austin! Austin! Someone who is better. You reek of alcohol. Hey, oh, please. People should come and help. Your brother is stinking. He needs a bath. Hey. Come and help me, man. Will I be able to carry him alone? Whatever. Then, then. Stand up now. Mommy, he's the good man. He can See, stand up. Go and set the water. Put the water. And then let's be able to clean the room. Let him take his bath. Go, 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 go. go to that side and carry him. Sophia, Sophia. He needs to know that she's been cheating on him. Exactly. Because I don't know how someone will just break up with her brother and the next minute she's in another relationship. Who does that? You need to see this guy. Very good looking, mom. Looks rich and he was driving a sharp ride. I'm telling you. Will you shut up? Make sure you look at me again. I don't care who she dates. Your brother is here hurting and you're just there talking nonsense. Or say I get your dollar. If she likes, she can date a dandoke. I don't care. 
as far as I'm concerned, she is not good enough for this family. She's not good enough for my son. That's all that matters. Now, no, let's go. I call, I call, I call, I call, I call, No. Brother. Austin. Brother. Have you seen it? No, it's not. Umba is my fault. They're trying to hear me in the kitchen and stop sitting down here to look at my face. That's the reason for you to run a kitchen. She back on your sofa. No, Austin. Austin. Hi. Babe, 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 babe. What? What is babe. it? What do you want? Babe, hold on. We can talk this. We can talk this out. We can sort it out now. Austin, there is nothing to talk about. There is absolutely nothing to talk about. Austin, I gave you four years. I gave you all the time in the world. But you see, right now, I am done. Your mother and your sister can go ahead and give you the woman of their dreams. Just leave me alone. Don't, and don't you dare follow me. Don't. Babe, babe, you can solve this. Babe, please. Uh. And I won't be the one to call the shorts. Now if you're ready, let me know. They say you gotta buckle up. Go ahead and fight for what you love. Yeah. But sometimes I feel like maybe I'm not out that sweet enough. Tell me uh, leave my house! Leave my house! But our house is the other renovation. Where do you want us to go? I do care. At this stage, I don't mean to be someone's wife. Hey, no quite. Leave my house! Hey, Austin, calm down now. What is it? Everything! Ah. Everything, mom! Everything is wrong with me. I'm tired! The moment you all decide to come into my life and make you the problem, but I am done. I am tired! Why are you raising your voice at me? Are you sick? Why are you raising your voice at me? Are you okay? You slapped me. Yes! You will not do it again, Mom! You will not. I have been the best son you've always wanted me to be. But you have refused to see that I am a man and not a boy. But I am done! Is this whole thing because of Sophia? Yes! Yes! It's because of Sophia! Yes! Yes, because of Sophia. I am tired. I am tired of your manipulation. Look, the next news. You all will hear. If you don't leave my house, it's the news of my death. God forbid! This is not a choice. Get out! Go and marry the two of you! Go and marry! Leave me alone! I'm tired! You can't be home! Go and get married! Where are you going to? Ask him to come and some now! Go and marry! I'm tired! Please let me have this. Let me. I was only trying to protect you, please. Don't do this. I was... Okay. I was only trying to protect you. It's okay. I've lost her, mom. No, you have not. You still have her, okay? Mommy will do everything to fix it. Do you hear me? I apologize, Mrs. Demas. I can't. Wow. Um, what happened to mom? That was another life. Hmm, I see. I never knew it was so easy to give it all up. Life is so fickle, isn't it? I agree. It is. But what can we do? Hmm. You know, nothing beats peace of mind. And you of all people should know considering how much of it your family took from me. Just because 
I was probably the wrong choice of a wife. But I'm glad I finally have it back. Yeah. This is what I call peace of mind. Sophia! I'm coming! Oh, I see you have a visitor. Yes. And if you don't mind, I would like to prepare dinner. Oh. I see. Um, I'll take my leave then. I'll see you after the door. And I won't be the one to call the shorts. Now if you're ready, let me know. They say you gotta buckle up. Go ahead and fight for what you love. So what exactly did she come to do? Dinner. But that is not happening. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, um, if you'd ask me, I'd say you should uh, you should go. Yeah. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm, I'm, I was just saying. This happened at the door. Okay, ma'am. And now we're the one to call the shorts. Now, if you're ready, let me Hi. Hi, hello. Lucy, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had a vista. I was just in the neighborhood and I thought to stop by. It's okay. That's fine. Yeah? Okay. Come, we're about to have dinner. Yes, please. Hi. Join us. Was that awesome mother I saw on the way? Yes. What was she doing here? What else? Oh. What? This is serious. And I won't be the one to call the shorts. Now, if you're ready, let me know. They say you gotta buckle up. Go ahead and fight for what you love. Yeah. But sometimes I feel like maybe I'm not athletic enough. Tell me if we stand a chance. Do I What's with the look? You like him? Yes, I do. I mean, unlike Austin, I can be me around him. Well, whatever rocks your boat, girl. But Sophia, if you ask me, I suggest you go for the dinner. And hear apologies. Isn't that what you want? I mean, it's not like you're dating Anderson. And what if I'm considering it? A plus, then. I mean, let's do this. Why don't you go to the dinner with Anderson? That way, they won't be able to tell you anything. Doing here? Oh, I I wasn't going to come, but he said I should come, and yeah. I told him on the condition that he comes with me. Hmm. Okay, so maybe he can leave now. That's fine. Wait, let's go. Wait. Join us, both of you. We'll pass. I insist. Hey, hey, just sit. I'll be back. I need to take this, okay? Yeah, hi, Mama. Thank goodness. Yeah, I've been I've been waiting for your call. How's she? Oh, great. Can I um, can I talk to her? Babe, please don't break my heart. I'm not sure I can do this. Please. You have to try. Because I have moved on. 
Anderson is a good man. I don't want to hurt him. But you barely know him. You just, you just met him. I don't need a thousand years to know how good a man is. Of all the years that I spent with you, what part of goodness did your family show me? What part? Four years. Four years. I did everything. Everything to make your family see that I am fit to be called Mrs. Sophia Austin Demas. I did everything. I changed all my colors for you. I turned my word just to be with you, Austin. And what did I get in return? What? Babe, look. I totally understand how you feel. No, you don't. No, you don't understand how I feel. You don't. You have no idea how I feel, Austin. Maybe I should use this opportunity to tell you this. All the years I've spent with you has been the toughest years of my life. Your family made me wish I had never fallen in love with you, Austin. I cried a lot. I doubted myself a whole lot. My heart was stretched beyond what it could take. All because I wanted to fall in love with a man who doesn't know, who doesn't understand what love is. Look, look, babe, babe. Look, babe, I take it all back. Everything. All I'm just asking is for one more chance, please. No. I'm sorry, Austin. You can't do that. Sophia, please, you can't do this. You had your chance and you blew it. I'm sorry. You blew it, Austin. I can't do it. I'm sorry this is not happening. Babe, are you okay? i
Are you going somewhere? Oh. Um, how are you? Morning. Good morning. Um, I'm sorry, I do want to disturb. I just um had an emergency call now for my mom. Yeah. Your mom? Yeah, yeah. Is she okay? She'll be fine. It's just my health matters. She'll be okay. I need to quit for a while. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sorry. That's fine. Right. I'll see you soon, kid. Sir, I was told that my uh, wife and kids are here. Um, I am Anderson Okafo. Daddy, right. At the second room, by the right side. Second room, by right side. side. Yes. yes, second right. Okay, yes. thank you. Did you say? The same thing. He hasn't been able to reach him on phone. <sighs> Tessie, what's going on? Is he okay? Look, I'm, I'm beginning to get scared. Hey, don't worry. Nothing will happen to him, okay? Tessie, it's been three days. It's been three days and I haven't been able to reach him. What if something bad has happened to him? Eh? What if something has happened to him, Tessie? Or should I start checking hospitals? Don't be ridiculous. What hospitals? How many hospitals will you possibly check in this big city? Huh? Anyways, don't worry, okay? Anderson is fine. Okay? Have you tried checking up on him through family, friends, colleagues, something? I, I don't know any of them. Wh what do you mean by you don't know any of them? What? Like, he has not introduced you to a friend, colleague, nothing? He... He... he oh my God! Sophia! Don't tell me this guy is another corn artist. That might be him. Yeah. That might be him. Okay. Hey, Sophie. Nini. Nini, what are you doing here? I was just around the neighborhood and I decided to come say hi to you. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. But no thanks. Wait. Nini, what is it? What do you want? Look, if your mother and your brother put you up to this, tell them I was serious when I said I was done. Sophie, Austin hasn't been feeling fine. He's been in and out of the hospital lately. 
and he's currently on bed rest. My regards to him. No one put me up to this. No one even knows that I'm here. I know my family has really hurt you. I know I and my sister would really hurt you. I'm sorry. Austin hasn't been himself. He's been drugging himself to death and we're really scared. It's too late. Your brother had his chance and blew it. I found someone. Someone who loves me so well. Even if he's a married man. What are you talking about? Anderson or whatever he calls himself. Are you aware he has kids and a wife? And I don't know why you choose him over my brother. Even after my, pro my family has promised to do better. No, no, no. First of all, it's a good thing that your family has finally changed their mind. That means the next woman that wins your brother's heart gets to meet a drama-free family. And for your information, my Anderson has no family. He's not married and has no kids. Then you don't know him. Hold on, I have pictures to show you. Before I say anything, I am so sorry for not being accessible, okay? I am so, so sorry. Babe, I am, I am so sorry. I swear, like, everything was happening so fast. Mom, mom, mom is, 
in the hospital my phone got lost you know everything i, I didn't know i didn't want to bug you i'm so so sorry i'm so sorry baby forgive me please and you didn't think i'll be worried i know like it was so fast the phone mom hospital do you do you get like forgive me please how is any time huh? I don't understand. You don't understand. I ask again. How is Anita? Your wife? Oh. Genevieve? Your daughter? And Gibson, your son. Oh. I hope they're all good. Oh. Oh. Who, are, who are all these people? I, I, I don't get. And you say, when did you start stammering? When? How is your family? Hmm? Huh. How long were you planning to keep that a secret? Okay, listen, I, I can totally explain. I, I wanted the entire divorce process to just divorce? go through. And, and that was, divorce? I, I, I was waiting for the right time. Yet another lie. No, no, I, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not lying. I swear to you. Please, don't, 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 don't do this. Anderson. Yes, baby. God will punish you. Oh. Get out of my house. Don't, 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 don't talk like this, baby. Please. Please. This is Matters of the Heart, reaching you from Telegram's LFM 102.5. A lot of women out there have uh, had a heartbroken and the men out there too. So, but the point there is, if someone offends you and uh, somehow he or she acknowledges uh, his or her mistakes and uh, apologizes, then as apology, would you forgive and take him or her back or not? That's Matters of the Heart. Reaching you from Telegrams and from 102.5. We'll be right back after this time. Stay tuned. My name is Sonchuks, the number one and only presenter. Do not touch the dial. I'll be right back. Thank you. Yeah, hello, good afternoon. Please have the line. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Leonard Ike Chuko, and I'm coming from Lekki Face One. Alright, welcome to the show, Mr. Leonard. Thank you. All right, so what's your, what's your take on today's uh, program? Well, I, I haven't listened to you. You see, I, I'm a man. I have been thrown under the car for loving the wrong woman. You see, uh, sometimes when you are in that situation and you grow up over and you realize that even God himself forgave us when we do sin. So, Giving them a second chance sometimes make them a better person because they feel remorse for what they've done in the past. Everybody deserves a second chance. That's what I just think. Uh -huh. Oh, that's me, Franca. Franca, how are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, where are you calling us from? I'm calling from Virgin City. All right, Franca, what's your take on today's show? Okay, my take on today's show is if I truly love a man. And he hurts my feelings. And I go to him and tell him, okay, this is your flaws, this are your flaws. And he accepted this mistake. Why am I not forgiven? Nobody is a good mistake. If you truly love someone, you are bound to forgive the person. Matters of the heart reaching you from Telegram's LFM 102.5. My son, 
we are leaving. I'm very sorry for every pain that I have caused you. I was only watching out for you. I didn't really mean any harm. I just want you to know that mommy still loves you. Okay? We'll leave now. Sophia? Sophie? Oh my God. I'm so sorry, my dear. I'm terribly sorry. I called. I never even knew you were going to come. Um, Thank you for coming by. How are you? I came because of Austin. Austin has not been himself. He's been a shadow of himself. He's not eating to take his bath into challenges. He's literally almost killing himself. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I took our love for granted. The memories, the smiles, every single thing. I'm sorry. My heart has been filled with heartbreak, sadness, ever since you left. I'm sorry. I deserve better. I still... I deserve... has not been the same without you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Where's my ring? <laughs> Until I got my back against the wall 